<laughs> Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And Cambridge scientists consider fake news to be a vaccine. Now, this is really, really kooky. Appearance of fake news on websites and social media has inspired scientists to develop a vaccine to immunize people against the problem. There isn't any problem. I'm going to explain this. When I get done with the article here, we're going to have to talk about this. The University of Cambridge study devised psychological tools to target fact distortion. Researchers suggest preemptively exposing readers to a small dose of inf misinformation can help organizations cancel out bogus claims. This is bizarre. Stories on the U.S. election in Syria are among those who have caused concern. Misinformation can be sticky, spreading, and replicate right a virus, said the University of Cambridge study lead author Dr. Sander Van Der Linden. Uh, uh, Mr. Van Der Linden, sir, you, uh, you clearly have some mental issues there. The idea is that to provide a cognitive repertoire that helps build up resistance to misinformation so the next time they come across, they are less susceptible. A study po published in the journal Global Challenges was conducted as a disguised experiment. More than 2,000 U.S. residents were presented with two claims about global warming. Researchers said when presented consecutively, the influence, well, well-established facts that people were canceled out by the bogus claims made by their campaigners. When the, when the information was combined with misinformation in the form of warning, fake news had less resonance. Really, so let's just tell you what to believe and not what not to believe. Fabricated stories of alleging the Pope was backing Donald Trump to his Democrat. Oh, no, who would believe that? His Democratic rival Hillary Clinton said weapons, sold weapons to the so called Islamic State group, were already read and shared by millions of Facebook users during the U.S. election campaign. Now, well, I'd believe the one about Hillary Clinton, hologram Hillary. <laughs> The world's largest social network later announced new features to combat fabricated news stories and there is pressure on Google and Twitter to do more to tackle the issue. Meanwhile, German officials have reportedly proposed creating a special government unit to combat fake news on, in the run-up run to this year's general election while senior labor MP only lasts Week one that British politics risk being infected by this contagion. Okay, so I'm going to break this down. Here's what we have going here. Uh, what these people want to do, essentially, is eradicate all but authorized discussion of information. In other words, the reason they're doing this so-called fake news thing, it's been done by tyrants time and time again. And what it may have a different name, but it's the same old game. You announce that only we have the right information for you only we of the uh, government or we of the approved press and everybody else's information is all fake. So you have to depend on us. You can't listen to anybody else. 
It's the same old game it's always been. It's called tyranny. And these Cambridge scientists are dedicated to tyranny. They want to silence every voice that's out there that isn't part of the mainstream media. They want everything to be official. And that of course, means going with what the government-controlled media says, not what the rest of us say. In other words, we're not supposed to have any input into anything. This is what's wrong. I'll, uh, I've been trying to get the time to expound on this greater, but... Let's say you had a car accident, all right, and a car involved a liberal politician. Well, somebody, an investigative reporter reports that a liberal politician had been hitting the sauce, but the mainstream media doesn't want you to know about it. So the person who reports it, is called fake news. In reality, that probably wouldn't, that situation won't fly, but, uh, because everybody hates drunk driving, and only using that for an example. In other words, this is about seeing to it that only a certain point of view gets through, and only a certain only approved government information gets through to the public. Because they want to control everything you hear. This is why they want Rush off the radio, Savage off the radio. They want everybody off the radio who says anything critical of the establishment. It's been this way throughout history. These are tyrants. These uh, scientists from Cambridge are tyrants. They believe, they hate freedom. They hate representative government. Uh, Mr. Sander Van Der Linden, if he could, would limit the public to hearing only what he believes they should. Does that mean that I'm for BS on the internet? No, but it kind of goes hand in hand with freedom. Either you have freedom or you don't. Either you have freedom to say what you want or you don't, and there is going to be BS. That's the way it's always been. And not that mainstream media is all that accurate either. They get caught time and time again lying. It's about control. It's about eradicating your ability to make decisions based on different points of view. They only want one point of view on anything. You know, I once went on the... I was invited to join an abortion group on... Actually, it was one there being uh, migrated. It was a group about abortion. They were being migrated from my son when they closed down their uh, chat groups. And I was invited to join it, but here's what I was told. I was told that any posts that I did had to include lamestream media. Well, what does that do? Well, the lamestream media is for 100% baby killing all the time. They're 100% pro-abortion. Which meant that every post had to agree with the pro-abortion stand. And I refuse to join on that count because I think abortion is a very evil, evil thing. That's the way I see it. 
Anyway, I really can't explain this in this much detail right now. But it's all about eradicating your ability to hear anything but what they, these brilliant people, want you to hear. That's what this is about. I'm Artifacts of Mars. You are still in very grave danger from these people. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. <laughs> and they only want you to vote one way, too. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.